Good morning and welcome back everybody to the morning announcements. My name is Ali Abdul Seder and today is Thursday, March 17th, 2022. Get excited because tomorrow is a half day. You will go to all of your classes for a shortened period and school ends at 10.55 a.m. If you have Michael Berry or DCMST, there won't be any classes at the MBCC, so you will meet in the auditorium. Free PSAT, SAT math practices are after school in room A221 with Mrs. Bayes on Tuesday and Wednesday from 2.50 to 3.50 p.m. The class of 2022 is hosting a senior bowling night tomorrow from 4 to 6 p.m. at Ford Lanes. Tickets are only $20 and you can buy them to reserve your spot from any class of 2022 student council members. Today is the last day to get your tickets, so be sure to get them. The Arab Student Union is a student-led organization that helps dispel Arab stereotypes through political, academic, and social means. Throughout the years, ASU has raised over 30000 in humanitarian aid for Middle Eastern countries and has been on campaign for Congresswoman Rashida Talib and Governor Whitmer. Join us every Wednesday after school at 3 p.m. in room A127 to be part of these opportunities and help serve our cause. If you have any questions, you may also contact Mrs. Al Hashimi in F201. Get ready, tractors. Next week is Forts and Legacy Spirit Week. Monday is Sports and Clubs Day. Dress in your sports or club gear. Tuesday is Retro Forts and Day. Dress like a former Forts and student of any decade. Wednesday is Legend Day. Dress as someone legendary who inspires you. Maze and Blue Day. Dress in Forts and Colors. And lastly, Friday is Formal Friday. Dress in press and formal clothes. Also, the Environmental Club is looking for new members. They meet on Friday in room A118. Attention all students parking off Ford Road and Nickel. The parking lot is for staff and senior students that have a pass only. Warning stickers have begun being placed on cars that are being parked in this lot without a parking pass. Following a warning, you will be ticketed if you continue to park in a paid senior spot that does not belong to you. If you have any stories or events that you would like covered or promoted, please see Dr. K in room A100 or send her an email. With that being said, see you next time. Good morning, students and staff. I'm here with Abdullah, Abbas, Muhammad, Asma, and Zainab to discuss trust. Um, how do you know when you can trust somebody? I know I can trust somebody when I can open up to them, when I can really, really, from the bottom of my heart, speak to them. I know I can really trust someone when the things they're telling me are adding up. Okay. Honestly, I, I can trust someone when I feel a bond between me and them. Um, I can trust someone when I give like have a conversation and they just, just give me advice that I could use. I can trust someone depending on how long I've known them and my relationship with them. Okay. What part does trust play in your relationship with your friends, family, or staff? Friends, family, and staff. I can trust my friends, family, and staff when I can really speak to them. Advice plays a big role. Mm. Um, like learning things from them, getting like when you trust somebody, you really want to actually talk to them, and that okay. plays a big role in your future. Trust, as it plays in my relationships, is uh, it's the most important thing to me. It lets you give and get advice without worrying about anything or a secret will be. Uh, it gets you like looking forward to that time of day, and you could just speak your mind with no regret. It makes me want to be around the person, the people I trust. Okay, can you imagine starting a friendship with someone that you did not trust whatsoever? Yes, I, I believe I can start a friendship with somebody I do not trust because trust can be broken, but it can also be rebuilt. You can gain somebody's trust back okay. and they can gain yours the same exact way. I think different than Abdullah. I think you have my trust until you break it or lose it. And then I don't think it could be brought back. You want some more on Abdullah's side because trust is built. Mm -hmm. always starts off by building trust. I also do think that you could uh, have trust with someone uh, because in the end of the day, there's always time for change and no one stays the same. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say no because the main thing for me for any friendship is trust. If I don't have your trust, I'm not gonna wanna do, like, be around you. Good point. Okay, what are the benefits of being a trustworthy person? People believe what you say and people can open up to you. Benefits of being a trustworthy person to me are uh, having people that can rely on you. You make people feel safe and comfortable around you. You're able to empathize with them and spread your wisdom. People will come, for you, come to you for help. Okay, final question. What is it um, 
What is it trusting? What does trusting somebody mean to you, whether it be a student, staff, or a family member? Trusting somebody. When I can take their word, I know they have my back through anything. And I believe that we could, that we could be, we have a really strong bond. That's what I'm trying to say. Trusting somebody to me means um, when I tell them something, that they're the only person that's got, like, that something is gonna go to. And uh, it makes me feel like they have respect for me and I have respect for them. Trusting someone means that you have someone to rely on and someone can rely on you. Um, you don't feel oppressed to say, like, speak your mind and it just strengthens the relationship between anyone. You'll feel comfortable going to them when you're in a bad situation. All right. Thank you, guys. Stay tuned for next week's video regarding care.